L.A. continues to crack down on RV encampments. City Council voted Friday to restrict overnight parking for about 30 streets in neighborhoods on the west side. Porter Ranch, Van Nuys, and Arlington Heights. NBC 4's Anastasia Olmos joins us live from West Side Village. And Anastasia, are they already enforcing these restrictions? Well, guys, driving across L.A. today, you could see several of these signs showing up on certain streets, like here in Sepulveda, right under the 10 freeway. We'll show you. It says no parking 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. for vehicles over 7 feet high or 22 feet long. And just behind this sign, you can see those RVs as well as smaller trucks are parked on the street. Now, this section of Sepulveda is actually between National Boulevard and Exposition, and it's one of about 30 sections of streets that the L.A. City Council voted to ban RV parking as of Friday. The streets are in neighborhoods on the west side, Porter Ranch, Van Nuys, and Arlington Heights. There are several near Westchester and Mar Vista as well, but they postponed voting on those restrictions until Wednesday. Now, one woman who walks Sepulveda with her dogs twice a day to visit her mother, she did not want to go on camera, but she tells me she always walks in the street to avoid the encampments. The problem is sometimes they have uh, dogs without leash, and I scare some, uh, the dogs attack my dogs. And another problem is sometimes we can walk in, in the alley because they have a lot of things, only we have to walk outside the alley. In the street? Mm -hmm. In the street. I don't know because I feel bad for them too. The council's resolution does state that these parking bans are in places where, quote, an RV task force operation has taken place. This is part of the city's efforts to try and clean up homeless encampments across L.A., but under the law, they have to provide a place for them to go in order to affect the area where they are currently living. Now, as for enforcement, we know that these signs have shown up in just the last 24 hours, but the sheriff's department told us last month that they were having capacity issues with about 7,000 RVs parked on the streets of L.A., and they don't have enough space to hold the ones that they're towing. Reporting live here in West Village, I'm Anastasia Olmos, NBC4 News.